being able to you know work with your guys' team uh, on this I feel like is a, a really good start uh, especially having a piece of legislation from Maryland that has specifics. A local state representative is considering a bill to add protections for high school athletes in Ohio because of our reporting on the death of 16-year-old Matthew Mangine Jr. A Maryland lawmaker featured that reporting in her athlete health and safety bill in March. Christian Hauser has a Local 12 investigation. Before he was in the State House, Representative Thomas Hall spent time in the House of Hoops. The former Madison High School assistant basketball coach is the youngest member of Ohio's General Assembly. He's also the last member to get a bill involving athlete safety passed into law. In regards to you know student athletes and safety, you know 176 was a huge win, I believe, for the state of Ohio. Now he's reviewing legislation that's been introduced in Maryland. 16-year-old Elijah Gorham, a Baltimore City Schools football player, died after suffering an injury during a game. It is, I think, very common sense. A lot of things we do are, are common sense uh, legislation, uh, but a lot of things we do are things that are brought to us. The Maryland bill, introduced by uh, State Elijah Representative Gorham. Brooke Learman, calls for proactive life-saving measures like having automated external defibrillators, or AEDs, be required on sidelines during athletics. Ohio passed a law in 2017 which requires schools to have AEDs, but it doesn't extend that protection to any after-school activities or competitions. And I'll go to some of the same people that had worked with us with the, um, the athletic trainers bill. But the, the main thing is having the discussion and uh, not letting you know, these issues that are so common sense uh, go to the, the wayside. I think that student athlete safety is something that uh, affects all of us. It's an act that will be made for the love of the game and those who play it. In Middletown, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Kentucky law does not require AEDs on sports sidelines, but the Kentucky High School Athletic Association does require one to be accessible within three minutes of any practice or game. A bill requiring AEDs in Indiana schools passed out of the House, but did not go before state senators in this session.